Yo! It's the most task list. Alex get Extreme Wheels and Power Rangers Life Speed Rescue. Yeah. That's it. Catsworth, Flaming Rock, Cadis, Dr. Mutagen. There's a three way race going on here because Flaming Rock has five points. Damn near immune to losing this race. The other three players, though, are three, two, and two. Dr. Mutagen has the three. Anybody's game out of those three, for sure. If one of those three gets first place, we're gonna see a shakeup. Ready to go. Let's do it. The moose race is afoot. Afoot. You cannot jump on enemies. An Alex kid. Let's see what I told them about Alex kid. The lost stars. You find a power up, lets you shoot projectiles. Mostly you'll be going right as fast as you can. SMS. A timer is very excited about being in the wrong world. You know what? I'm just going to fix it so that it's correct. I don't know what I've done. Uh, I'll get working on that. Anyway, welcome to the race, everybody. This is the last round for Group F. This is F3. I don't have the correct information up there. This is F, round three. In that better. That's a much more sensible solution. I played through this one myself, but I don't remember a whole lot. It's just a platformer. I don't feel like it's too terribly hard. It's a lot of Alex Kid games. That's where it's inside the chips.
you do get a crappy little projectile. And I don't think you can touch any enemy. But if you do, they disappear. Catsworth is currently tied with Cadis for third place. Got some work to do to win this race. So these uh, these pits that he's dealing with are one of the more frustrating obstacles in this challenge. You gotta be very patient with these pits because they don't work the way you would expect. They don't have the greatest hit detection on them, so you're better off just not playing around with them pits. Better off just taking your sweet time. Time to swing. The Cadis is still in that world, but it seems like they're stream is hiccuping, so that might be actually why. Let me reload that sucker. Nah, they're back there. They are, I think, legit on level one here. This is the Sega Master System version of Alex Kidd. Falling in pits is your nemesis here. Gotta watch out for that health bar. Do not want to get taken out all the way. I'm not sure what happens when you do. It wouldn't surprise me if you get sent way back. You had to miss out on that HP. That's very valuable. So everyone else doing time up on Dr. Mutagen. Where's the timer? There's a timer? What? Well, Catsworth has defeated this level. But that ain't no forest I ever seen. He's still got work to do. It turns out that Catsworth is an Alex Kid natural and is in the lead. I don't recognize where Fleming Rock is at, but I do recognize where Mutagen is at. He's about halfway through. I think Mut uh, I think Fleming Rock is almost done. Also low on HP, but the exit shouldn't be too far. It's right past this lightning. They can make it with one, one hit. Oh, died right in front of it. Miserable, terrible Alex Kid experience. I don't know why there's dancing naked guys in the forest, but there are. Don't mess with Alex, kid. Mutagen is trying to get through the lightning now. Looks good. Mutagen has cleared that stage. That's worth 3 HP. In the woods.
One HP. Gotta deal with this fisherman. Time up. Dr. Mutagen takes the lead. I don't know, it's a pretty long time before the next race. I was thinking about doing a race, or an FTL run anyway, but... I don't think I'm waiting until 11. I'll probably go offline a little bit. I feel like I copped out of playing NGB last time. I should just do that. I should commit to playing NGB and we'll see how it goes. It sounds like I'm just saying three letters, but I'm saying NGB. NGB. No. There's nothing fun about that role-playing ship. The forest has given our players a heck of a time. It's only been nine and a half minutes, but it feels like forever. Catsworth is wiped out again. Cadis is using this time to catch up. Falling is the worst. If you take a hit, you just kind of lose a little bit of HP and keep going like you would think. But if you fall, it doesn't put you back at where you fell. It puts you back at some arbitrary checkpoint. As if you died, but with less health. Flaming Rock also not having a good time on the woods. Dr. Mutagen is getting injured too. Will anyone clear the woods? I feel like Mutagen's almost there. And is. Let me, um, let me show you guys something. Actually, I'll pretend that I didn't make a mistake here. Oops, I said that part out loud. Flaming Rock is Dr. Mutagen and Dr. Mutagen is Flaming Rock. Oh, Play Me Rock has finished game one. That's with it. Full HP getting through. He's rushing a lot. He is. Uh, but he's doing good now. I think you constantly lose HP in this game, right? That's why it says time up when you die. It's because either you took damage or you ran out of time. Both. They both are the same thing. HP is time and time is defense. Okay, so the game Rock is playing is an inevitable victory, but it sucks real bad. Uh, it's like Excite Bike, but not working right. 
on the Game Boy. It's a Game Boy Color wannabe Excite Bike. Somehow the NES did it better than the Moose Pack Excite Bike there. Real nasty. It's hard to do anything and you run out of stamina lightning fast. Excite bad. That's good. I'll use that. I did. Catsworth has finished the game. They have a lot of options for extreme race. Any two races are fine. I don't care if Catsworth does the NMX Clubman series or whatever that is. He can do that if he wants. It's all good. I don't know why Dr. Minas is moving on. Looks like they're done. Okay, they finished. That's where they're starting the race. Hades is working on the last level. He says he's done, actually. Yeah, he is. I see the exit. Everyone's on bike game. Catsworth didn't have that big of a lead. He took a long time to get started on bike game, but... You know, we'll see how these players do about getting started as well. <clears throat> I like how even the AI is going through the wrong part of the track. They're all going through the rough, and it's just slowing everyone down. Catsworth followed them. He didn't have to. He could use the road. He sees the road. There, look how much faster it is. But, you know, you, you kind of expect the crowd of bikers in front of you to know what they're doing, but not in this game. Going with the crowd is like jumping off a bridge or whatever. It's just the wrong move. They're completely out of, out of touch with what the course wants them to do. Catsworth is going full stamina. That's his strategy and Flaming Rock has been trying to conserve it. I gave them some advice on stamina. It's the enemy here. You can sort of use it on and off and keep it going a little longer. It will run out before too long though. But you can, you can like stop using it when you're going downhill. And that lets you save some of it without, you don't gain much from pedaling going downhill on this, so. You know, it's pretty realistic in that, go <laughs> that regard, right? You don't pedal your bike while you're going downhill. I haven't ridden a bike in uh, 20 years, but that's what I remember. I wonder why I stopped. Y'all ever ride a bike? When did you stop and why? Ever think about that? Just put it up one day. If you could go back in time and tell yourself, this is it, the last day you ever ride a bike. What would yourself think about that? Got a car, you don't need exercise anymore, Mr. Car Driver. Mr. Big Pollution over here, drives his car everywhere. <laughs> Flaming Rock is on his second race, and so is Catsworth. Everyone else is still working on their first, I think. That is the case, currently. And the names match up to their screens this time. We know where people are for real.
There's some biking music. Running out of stamina is the same thing it is in Excite Bike because it this game really is just wanna be Excite Bike. Um, for all of its upgraded graphics, it somehow looks worse and feels worse. You run out of stamina in this game, it's just like that overheating an Excite Bike. You stop for a little while. Flaming Rock is finished. I love the hill stage. Everyone got stuck with it. Catsworth is about a minute from finishing, I'd say. The second lap is usually faster because you hit it going in at full speed. You don't have a startup time, so we'll see about that. But everyone's on this hills map, and I feel like it's one of the worst ones to choose. No choice, though. Here comes Power Rangers, man. We'll play the music from this game. Power Rangers Lightspeed Rex Rescue. We gotta test the pop filter on my mic, right? <laughs> Just make sure those powerful rangers don't cause any plosives. Guess where this finished. Six and a half minutes. Moving on to Rangers. The real tough game here. What to say about Rangers? It sounded like some of you had played this before. I've asked them to get um all but five hostages, all but five villains. They have three missions to do. They can pick which one they want. They can also pick the ranger. That matters a little bit, but you can change them in the, almost any time. So, I hope we see some various different stages. But anyway, they have to rescue hostages in part one, the three mission part here. I said to them, out of 20, you can have 15 and you can go with that. You don't have to rescue any, I don't think. I think it's all for points. Power Rangers don't really care, so you can just do whatever you want. So in regards to rescuing the hostages, some of them are behind walls and uh, under pipe and in burning buildings, stuff like that. You get a tool, a fire hydrant, uh, wire cutters, all kinds of stuff like that to solve that. And that's what the electricity bolt is for. It solves that. Uh, you can only use them once per bolt, so you gotta find that stuff. That's what Catsworth is running into right now. He cannot get through that wall without the the right tool. He's gotta figure it out. So he's gonna have to bail. I think Ranger needs something. This is a case of I hope they read the directions because I told them how to use it all. We do have a couple different choices here for stages. Everyone's on this game now. That's worth lost a little time to the other players on the bike game. They did it faster than him. Just thanks for the two years of sub. That's what this figured out the grappling hook works. I'm seeing if anyone else has figured out tools yet. So health is the bottom left and energy is the bottom right. That's different per ranger. And so is their fighting ability. So that's what major change happens between the rangers here and 
Obviously, some of the rangers will just be better at rescuing hostages than others, and survivability is nice. That's where this cutting the cable. He done it. <laughs> it's so goofy. All right, hostage rescued. We have a hostage score on screen that's pretty clear on where the players are here because they do need 15 before they're allowed to leave. And then they have to find the exit too. Red Ranger's coming up. And a Blue Ranger. 11 for Rock. Definitely has a handle on what's going on here. Rescuing the hostages is easily the hardest part of this. Once the hostages are rescued, you have kill enemies. You don't have to worry about tools anymore to kill them. And then we have the big fight. You know, you know the one. Catsworth found this hostage who does not want to come. A different tool is needed for him. Because he's sick. He's too sick to move. He's sick like Dark Gob's jokes about canes. Okay, he's got the medicine. Eight. Six, four, and uh, Flaming Rock is beating up villains, actually, so they're on the next area. They're not on the same stage at all. Let's play the next level of music here. This game was on the PlayStation 1. <laughs> it's just, guess what just tanks that fire? He doesn't care. He just tanks that, all that good stuff. You get a fire extinguisher, but he doesn't have it yet, so he's just speed running through. Take damage, save time, save hostage. Dr. Mutagen left the level without rescuing enough hostages. Has to go back in. That's a big time loss for Mutagen. He accidentally evacuated too early. It's not too long though. He knows what to do. That's worth figuring out how water works. Very exciting. Hostage saved. One more for Catsworth. He might be the next person to save 15 here. Cadis left the level with only 10 as well. Is going to have to restart as well. Catsworth, the only one who managed to do it correctly. Now he needs to escape, though. This is Catsworth's uh, big advantage here, being hostage-minded. I don't know if Flaming Rock did it correctly or not. I wasn't sure. I think he did. And check. He certainly got all the villains killed.
I'm watching Flaming Rock screen now. He didn't actually rescue Eleven. Did he go back in? No, he needs to go back in. Flaming Rock is not done with stage one yet. I think the um, the exit sneaks up on you. I don't think they meant to leave the stage. That happened to everybody but Catsworth, who just rescued as many hostages as he could. Catsworth actually is in the lead now because of that, I think. But Flaming Rock has already beaten stage two, so Catsworth is working on stage two now. That's the difference. They're about in the same place, I think, because of that. Catsworth has to kill all but five villains now, so leave just six. He's already at 14, though, so he's good to go whenever you can get to the boss. Here it is. This music is from the PlayStation version of this game. So it's probably sounding a little better than you, you would expect, but... I didn't make them play that version. It's Megazord time for Catsworth at the dam. Use the light speed Megazord. Super Train Megazord is just fiction. We don't use that here. We only talk about what it could be like. What the hell's a Super Train Megazord? So, uh, fighting is bad. It's bad. It's no good. It's absolutely just no good at all. There's nothing good to say about it. Megazord combat. Block with down plus A. Successful blocks fill up your super bar. Fired with up plus B. Guess what thinks he has a strategy here? It might work as long as the boss does not blast him. He's blasting him. He's got it. He's found the pellets shooter. That's a powerful move. I dare say that Catsworth has this in the bag. Oh, look at that. Commentator's curse. He's doing an animation. My god. This one's for you, Catsworth.
2242. That's where this is in first place here. The hostage quest. It's really giving the other players a ride. Catsworth was in second place for most of that race, but as soon as he finished the hostage thing out of everyone else, he shot way in front. Flaming Rock is battling this boss. This fight is actually not easy. Uh, I had trouble winning this. I had to tell everyone the controls. Man, the Blue Ranger falling in the fire. It looks like Flaming Rock has got this one figured out. Maybe he's understanding controls better. They're kind of weird. Flaming Rock is fighting for second place. Cadus now has all 15 hostages that he requires. He just abandons that last guy. He's got his quota. He's out of here. Flaming Rock is done. Thirty-five Okay, let me record those scores for Group F here. Interesting thing about Katsu's score. Uh, it went up more every time he played. Zero, two, and then three points. Catsworth has five now. Is Cadus in the villain hunt at this point? I think so. I think blue is villainous and red is endangered hostage. Yeah, I think also Mutagen has the opposite, where Red is a villain. Yeah. The 16 villains, they're allowed to skip 5. So just as long as that sk score says 11, by the time they get to the exit, they can keep on going. So Mutagen is ready to go. Missing all that villain 
it's hard. Uh, they're everywhere, so I don't think unless you did it on purpose you would fail that condition. I did not make people hunt every single hostage down, but I, ha I had them hunt for enough that I felt like it was not free, and it ended up giving Catsworth this win because all three other players missed too many hostages. They all got 10, and they bailed. Adis has the number he needs. When one ranger dies, you just send in another. Not at once. That's crazy. One at a time, they'll go in. They'll do their duty. Same boss fight for both these players here. It might be a close race for third here. Because the Zord fight sucks. <laughs> I can easily confuse and confound. Rockman boss. This boss seems pretty tough, uh, this one that Cadus and Mutagen fought. I don't remember having to deal with this malarkey. He's up there shooting rain down, what the f- Oh, Cadus was beaten, wiped out by him. What nonsense. Their place is still on the board here. Ah, Cadus ran out of time. Their final time is 40 22. They've already been on this for 20 minutes? Damn, it flew by. 40 22 for Cadus. I do believe that Mutagen has lost this race then. Yes. 40 39. Cadus has beaten Mutagen. 15 seconds. I have our final scores. The stages are wildly different in Power Rangers. Um, not sure how those bosses would be treating you know, on a different stage, but the hostages are really different. The items you use are still the same. It's still the same concept, but um, it's a completely different layout like I can't say it's the same but the idea is so similar that I don't know that it would be any easier but I'd never seen a boss like that one man I didn't fight that thing Flaming Rock with seven and two and Catsworth with five and four are moving on Cadus and Dr. Mutagen are both three and six Well, on the bright side, if you got eliminated, you don't have to play what I consider to be the worst games in my packs. Those are reserved for single elimination. But I have already thrown in some garbage in there, so I can't say uh, with a straight face that it's all been pure good here. Has not been good in this time. These three games, I didn't think were too bad. 
Uh, I think Extreme Wills is my least favorite of these three. It just sucks. <laughs> I don't like it. I could play the other ones all day. And not mind. You know, they're both interesting enough. But Bad Excite Bike it just makes me sick. I hate it. I couldn't play that for more than 20 minutes. I think I'm gonna play an FF, uh, FF, FFTL run here. Real quick. But I am not staying on until 11 to do my next race. We'll do another race, the Crocodile Pack. At 11 o'clock, that's in a couple of hours. But I'm gonna go offline in the meantime until then, but I will do an FTL run before that. So let's do that now. Let's get it going. Guess what? Hello. You cheated in my race. How dare you? How did I cheat? Did you, I? You won. Did... That's against the rules. I had to all my bets against you. It's good. Oh no. I'm sorry. I was supposed to throw the race. I didn't know. <laughs> my smackers. <laughs> I didn't mean to win. I was trying to lose. <laughs> if I win, that means I have to play again. It sucks. That's right. <laughs> the Catsworth is named my ship in honor of the cheater. <laughs> I'm honored. You were not in the lead until that game came up. Yeah. Well, actually, you were, was... and then you died in the forest a bunch. The forest sucked! God! <laughs> I couldn't. There was the one jump, and I kept running out of life or time or whatever the hell. Ugh. Oh, I sure am dead on jump one with this piece of shit. <laughs> oh, in uh, uh, FTL? Yeah, this is bad news. Ooh. That Power Rangers guy is pretty good. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Are you trying to get me killed? My ship namesake. Oh my. <laughs> I'm gonna just drain the air out of the whole fucking ship. How about that? <laughs> then they can't burn me up. They can't burn me up then. <laughs> They're burning me up anyway. They don't oh, care no. about nothing. Dang. What a life I lead. What a tragedy. Sorry again, I forgot about my race. I was out getting lunch. <laughs> Thanks, pal. You're, it's fine. You're welcome. <laughs> I use Google reminders myself, but you can do I whatever you like. And I saw notifications. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, oh no. <sighs> I don't know why these drones are. They're AFK. They're just not. 
going over there. Thanks, drones. There you go. Why were they not going over there? What took so long? They're offline. They're being drifts, that's why. They were. I don't know what their deal was there. <laughs> well, that really sucked. That was an awful first jump, but I didn't take any damage. Really, just two. Nothing, really. No real damage, just two. Two is no big. I like in the expansion pack. Uh, I made a Viera, but I haven't actually. I'm not even done with Stormblood yet. <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> I finished. Uh, have you seen the credits at all? Or are you working on? Main? No, I'm. I'm only at 65 on my samurai. Oh, I see. I just finished the dungeon where you gotta go fight a bunch of animals. <laughs> well, I won't spoil it. I'm currently at the first. You know how they have a post credits whole thing where it's like 10 hours of more content. Yeah. I'm at that. And I'll tell you my problem and what stopped me from being ready and kind of put me in my tracks is instead of being restricted by level on the quest, I'm restricted by item level. Oh, yeah, God. At level 70, you do your thing and you get this great gear. And it's been holding me off until now. It's like 280. And I need 300. So I actually need to, I need to find... They gave me a whole bunch of new quests and duties to do in their, in their off-season thing, you know, and... I figured yeah, I'd get my gear there. It's all the post-launch content. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't go any further until I do one of those, I guess, and get more uh, equipment. That, that is one thing I that kind of sucks about the game. It's like, well, you want a new expansion came out. You want to play it? Too bad. You have to complete all this interstitial stuff. <laughs> <laughs> did they change poetics? What did they do? I have 2,000 of those worthless things. Are they usable on level 70? Can I just go I, buy... I, a I think so, yeah. I think you can buy level 70 stuff with them now. Oh, nice. I could just go sneeze out my gear. <laughs> I could just <laughs> I could just go just fall over in my face and have optimal gear instead of... You can of... buy 390 gear. Jesus. Yeah, that's uh, that's literally 110 levels. <laughs> uh, I think it'll be all right then. <laughs> Shit. I, gotta, I, was, I, gotta I mean, I could have grinded that, but I mean, honestly, it's better that I waited then. <laughs> just... Yeah. Not Damn. do all that work. You, you tricked me. I used all my tombstones to upgrade my level 60 oh. gear. <laughs> oh, that's that's too bad, Catsworth. You know what? No. I I started a samurai. I bought him 5,000 tokens worth of things. And I have 2,000 oh. more now. And I did all that in a week. <laughs> I know. I could have. I haven't really been playing much. I got 7,000 in a week, Catsworth. <laughs> uh, I'll get there. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of annoyed they messed up all of my classes pretty much seem a little screwed up white mage seems to get I thought yeah. I thought that black mage would get hit real hard by the mana cap that seems real bad and it is honestly I don't like it they ruined me a little bit with that they toned me down <laughs> but eh, whatever my white mage got hit much harder I think ultimately really much. Oh, samurai didn't really change much at all they took away well the thing about managing mana is that Black Mage always has had infinite mana, and still does. It's just more obnoxious than before. And my Actually, White Mage they, doesn't seem to care about mana at all anymore. At least where I'm playing at. The removal of TP is so good. Yeah, I, I never can... ran out of TP ever. I don't know what that was about. You'd run out of TP if you're doing any AoE ever. As like, <laughs> Yeah, if you're doing uh, nothing DPS. else for 20 seconds, you might. I, I never ran out. <laughs> if you're just fighting... A groups, then what else are you gonna do? <laughs> kill one and remove some of the damage off the team. It's it's faster, I guess, to kill them Less all at efficient. once. Ugh. But it's more dangerous and also even if you did that, you could just hit goad and get it all back. <laughs> and <I> just <laughs> Boo. Goad No, Goad was for use it on a different character. There's there's that one ability for yourself. But. Well, I'm only talking about level 70 black mage and white mage here, but uh, I still don't run out of mana on either one of them. My black mage still instantly gets all their mana back. I just have to switch over three fireballs faster. That's what they did. I used to shoot fire four three times, one fire Ooh. one, and then three more fire fours, and then I'd switch to ice. Now I have to switch after four fire fours and one regular fire. That's what I have to do. It just They just took a couple of blasts away. So it is a little weaker, but ultimately that's yeah. about all they did to it. 
uh, the other changes they made to help me actually. And I, I don't mind that they got rid of a lot of the fluff skills that are like break. Ooh, I don't even know, remember using that ever. Drain. I don't. Uh, dumb. They're dumb. They're no, uh, the kind of bad. Was good. Uh, Slower <clears throat> your threat and get mana back. Not that it would matter for a black mage. Yeah, I'll do this deal. Um. Hail. What did they do to white mage? They they made Medica too. I, I I knew they would. It was such a ridiculous skill that it made the other healers look like shit. It was so good. <laughs> I recognized it immediately as a healer from WoW, like like almost professional level healer from WoW. I used to play so much. Uh, I recognized immediately just how busted Medica two was. Just getting the a heal and refresh on the whole party. Yeah, and That's that refresh good. heal it lasts thirty seconds and it heals so much. It just <laughs> is always. Well, they cut that down to half, and it's still one of the most ridiculous Aww. things. Uh, even with that, it still was ridiculous still. But I don't feel like I can run out of mana with my white mage currently either. It's still a lot of mana. It's really hard to run out of mana or TP in that game, in my opinion. I think it's very, very easy to maintain those. Unless you're constantly resurrecting people or dropping Medica 2 all the time. I don't know how you would. You have a skill that gives you three for free. You have so many ways to get mana back i i don't think i've ever run out of mana on my white mage ever and i i tried playing all day today and i still wasn't running out of mana uh, uh, and, what, so, one thing i can recommend for someone new is uh the gishel greens to summon your chocobo are super cheap so once you get your chocobo just yeah that's buy cool. a fucking stack of them and just have your chocobo out with you all the time it makes solo and a lot easier yeah they got rid of a. Uh, they got rid of TP, but like I said, I played a Dragoon and a Samurai to 60 and 70, and I've never run out of TP ever. And I I did do intentionally try to run out on purpose with the AOE <laughs> on the enemies that were there, and they died before I ran out. I just, and then I hit Goad and got half of it back, and I was just like, is this even a real number? Do people actually look at this? What is this number for? So they got rid of like the most meaningless thing in the world as far as I can tell. I don't understand who was using yeah, it, but TP it wasn't... Sucked. I'm glad it's gone. It just was there on my bar no matter what, and I was always wondering what the hell it was until I played melee, and then I was still like, what is this? Is this real? Is this a <laughs> thing? <laughs> I never understood either why the AoE moves would take more TP than the single target. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing. If I did run out of TP, oh my god, I'm dead. Uh, I'm totally dead this time. Uh, there's no way out of this. Anyway, I was saying if I did run out of TP, I would just switch to single target and I'd it did regenerate faster than I could use it. I'm actually fucked. This is the fight that I can't possibly win. It happened. I, I was gonna I was about to say oh, yeah. I'm having a really lucky, easy run with this NGB, but now we have instantly lost. There's no way to defeat this fucking ship. We're screwed. No, we're absolutely dead. No, we're dead. There's no way out. There's oh, no. There's no way out. This seems like bad game design. It's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> If I can get one more shot on it successfully, maybe we can stop it. Okay, we can we can get out of here with only half dead ship. Great. Perfect. My shields are down because they have a stupid event that disabled them for no reason and it's completely unfair. And it's the only thing I have protecting me from that drone. That drone uh, that guarantees uh, that it hits bitch. me every time. Yeah, it's a beam drone. The worst drone you could run into. And it was That's kicking nice. my ass. It was outrageous. Outrageously bad. I got they are kidnapped defeated. by these creepy guys. They're really creepy. I don't like them. They want me to pick some gr seagrass for them. Uh. I think the Black Mage was my favorite one to play, and still is, honestly, at this point. I tried a Dragoon, it was kind of annoying. Samurai is pretty good. Black Mage, though, was lots of fun. Really, the way you look at it is, um, you use fire because fire is marginally better than ice. It's not ridiculously better. You could use ice the whole time and probably still keep up, honestly, with the other DPS, even now. But fire is better, so you use fire until you're out of mana. And then you switch to ice real quick. All of your mana comes pouring in like a freaking flood. It just instantly fills back up. Oops. You, 
You cannot switch back to fire fast enough for your mana to not be full most of the time. I forgot I could mount underwater, so I was just swimming very slowly. <laughs> uh, that's a big change for me, Gatsworth. Uh, you know the uh, the mount that you get from the... What are the, the Sahagans? Yeah. It doesn't Maybe fly? Can... It flies now! Yeah. It flies yep. now! It swims! <laughs> they changed it! Yeah! I know, they about time! Great. The only mount in the game... I was complaining about that all the time. It looked so good and it couldn't fly. It was the only mount I had that couldn't fly except for my own. And even that one flies now. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> only this croc... It doesn't make any sense either. It's a, specifically a water mount. And they're like, oh, no, it, this one, it can't, it can't swim either. <laughs> it's, it's like, what? Yeah, they, they cut off its webbed feet so that it can't swim but it can yeah. run or something is what they had Too in the bad, description. they healed them. Yeah, they changed the description to be like, oh, he's not as fast as Swimmer, wink. Yeah, okay, let me let me read what it is now, because I have him too. Where is he? Here he is. To ensure his Alps do not find themselves at disadvantage to swift running chocobos, paw of novice clutch clips the webbing on their feet at a young age, rendering them more capable of achieving high speeds in land, though they will never, though they will ever be slower than their brethren while underwater. Yeah, well, big deal. Okay, so they're they're just they're a slower version underwater of the other fish lizard things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm in a very yeah. interesting position with this drone, where I actually got some good drones here: defense drone two and a combat drone. Oh, nice. No, yeah, I'm I'm real glad that they let all mounts fly. That's one of my annoyances with WoW. It's like, oh, I got a cool mount, can't use it because they don't fly. I don't know if I should switch to those drones yet, but uh, they're very tempting. I don't have enough drone parts for them. There's hacking in the store. Hmm. And hacking is very scary to use right now with this ship, too. I don't really want to. I think I need to keep going with what I've got and upgrade my defense to two shields. That's what I need to do. I don't like it, though. Not a big fan of this, but I think I need to sit on these drones for a little while longer. These creepy Aura tribe that captured me, and I'm an Aura myself, and they're making <laughs> they're gross i think i know where you're at how do i add some... cool i'll go get weapon i was about to i mean am i right is that what you do you just go to all these new duties that i unlocked just just like i went I back guess. to rogers reach and there were just like 600 blue quests and i took them all and they all unlocked a new duty each one there's like seven of them uh i just no, assume I that, that I is where you get gear. I made a new character of here. <laughs> I heard they were adding oh, a new game plus soon that you could use to not have to do the story again or whatever. Soon. Like, it's not in yet. You know what I hate, Casper? Uh, the what? Moogle quests, once you hit 60, they go from 800,000 to 10,000 for each turn in. What? I'm crafting. Dumb. Yeah, it is dumb. And <laughs> it's not the only thing like that. There's a leave quest that you can do for crafting all the time, and there's big ones that let you do 10 at once, and they give you, like, literally a million XP or something like that. And as soon as you hit level 60, 10,000. <laughs> so oh, I made no. I made all the turn-ins for it, and without checking, I wasted 10 leave coins or whatever. <laughs> and I got nothing out of it. I got nothing. Aw, lame. Pretty crappy. My chef is level 68, though. I'm not messing around with cooking. I'm the king of chef. I have cooking unlocked. Oh, man. <laughs> that burst laser over there is really obnoxious. It got through. I missed. I don't think crafting jobs are off the level if you like doing beast quests. And I kind of do. I kind of hate it and am bothering with it at the same time, even though I hate it. And my chef, I haven't really cooked anything in like 20 levels, honestly. I haven't done any of that chef stuff at all. Uh, because the Heavensward and Stormblood guys combined have made it a joke to level up. They've just made it free. I get like a level a day on them. I really do. And I'm sure that's going to stop at 70, but I'll just go after the new ones I'm sure exist, right? The new crafting guys that are going to show up and just help me out again. Yeah. And for uh, fishing, I just turn in the fish every day. I don't fish at all. 
Did you just buy the fish? Yes. <laughs> okay. They made low leveling crafters worse? Really? How? What do they do to crafting? What's an Omni crafter? I don't really understand so because I haven't. Crafting, I, guess. I haven't messed around with uh, any. I saw they changed around the skills a little bit, but it didn't look major. I haven't messed around with any crafting after 50. Like I said, not really any at all. So I don't understand what the what the hell a collectible is and any of that nonsense. I don't understand what's going on with my specialist thing that I I went and some guy gave me a specialist crystal for chef chefery uh, culinary <laughs> and I'm I'm Good like I just got a billion new skills that are kind of overwhelming. All I know, you know is that sucks? I can't fail anymore. I'm too powerful to cook to fail anything. I hit the stupid dungeon roll system. Uh when I did that last dungeon, a uh, samurai sword upgrade dropped off the last boss, and I was like, oh, great, I'll roll need on it. But some jackass didn't roll, and I forgot about it, and I left the dungeon, and so I just <laughs> forfeited. Because I'm like, wow, it doesn't let you get the stuff when you're out of the dungeon. Rawr. Just all just because someone doesn't want to roll, but you make you sit there for five minutes. Ooh. Now, oh, Byragots is one of the two... There's two skills that have the word Byragot written on them, and one of them... There it is. One of them takes all of your inner vision charges and forces them to do some extra bonus on your per, uh, on your quality progress. And I guess they moved it to a... Uh, I mean, it, it's pretty good, but it's not... It's not, like, wildly good. There's... I have other skills that are better, honestly. But I use it once in a while. I have so many skills that I have to read what they all do still. I'm just so confused and overwhelmed by how many abilities I have as a cook now. At level 78, 70 here. I have Hasty like Touch, Hasty Touch 2, Seven Ways to Advance My Progress. I have a Whistle. Oh my gosh, there's so many side quests here. Blah. I would've got here. I'm doing okay in this run. I think I might actually switch to these drones now. I don't need two of these, and I don't need this drone reactor. I think I'm going to put the defense drone on. Hesitate. Hmm. No, I probably should put the combat drone on. That makes more sense. We're going to need him soon. I'm going to have to start buying drone parts, though. I need to start selling shit. My inventory is so full. They've been giving... <laughs> I did all the Stormblood quests. They've been giving me all the gear for classes I don't even... Have at this level yet? Oh. Hmm. It seems like they've homo homogenized all the classes pretty hard. Yeah. And it, yeah, it sounds like what Lorish is saying is that they took some special skills. I saw they oh, took the some. Um, yeah, that too. Like. <laughs> Uh, healing shares a lot of traits, skills as well. Like they took, I think they took my sleep off my white mage and just gave it to everyone as one of them. Uh, stuff like that. But for crafting, it sounds like they took some of my culinary special skills and gave them to everyone. At some point. I think leveling crafting was very obnoxious, but it wasn't hard. It didn't take that long uh, because I did beast quests. I feel like I found an easy way to do them. I think if you're willing to throw money at it, you can instantly solve level and crafting. You can do it in a day. You can probably be up to 40 in a day if you really wanted to, and then 60 in another day. I think you can go that fast if you want to. Not me. You can do it, Gatsby. Not me. Mm hmm. I don't know what I want to buy here. I'm thinking that Ion Stunner looks real good, but that's a really lousy setup. There's another store. I'm going to jump to that other store. I don't want to go Ion if I can help it. With this ship. Only 4,000 poetics to be in. I mean, I mean, I wish I knew that because I was doing shit all day. I could have had another thousand. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think about it. I didn't think they even check or ask anyone. I just kind of assumed that they were still worthless. What city has them? Where are they just faded? Copies of music stuff. Do they do anything with them? Uh, I can take them as an alchemist and turn them into actual music orchestration rules that you can add to your little player, yeah. and those are worth yeah. money. But 
honestly, they're a pain in the ass to make. It seems like it's unreasonably hard to make them and you should not bother unless you actually have the recipe and want to do it. Okay. Uh, solid. I Like, I've been holding on to them just because I theoretically can make them, but I think the parts to get them are expensive. Like, it's just not worth it. I would like to get some crew members. I should have thought about it, honestly. Then I could get rid of my personnel drone. I don't need a drone recovery arm, I don't think. You're a drone recovery. I guess if I took it, I could have used oh. combat drone every fight, but yeah. I don't want to rely on drones. I want real weapons. I should have probably bought that, though. My engines are so bad. That's another thing the ship has. No engines. No engines. This has been a really easy run. Even with those two nasty fights. Man, if I want to level Blue Mage more, I gotta do a dungeon. But I can't use the dungeon fighter for it. <laughs> oh, oh. This is no good. This is no good. 4300 poetics. But don't you, did did they remove the change the cap? No, they didn't. The cap is still 2000. Farts. Yeah, I'm starting to run into I really should have grabbed a weapon. I should have known I'd run to a ship like this before too long and I think I threw the game away by not getting any upgrades. Even a combat drone would not help me out here. Um, it won't do anything. I'm screwed. I'm sorry. I need to run from this ship or die. Looks like death. Looks like just death is happening here. Sweet joy. That's a cute outfit. Oh, I I have this chest piece or bard that's literally just like covers it's just a piece of cloth over the chest a little shoulder piece and then the same version but for dragoon and it's the same thing but it's got these cloth sleeves as well it's pretty good that'll that'll definitely that's definitely medium, medium heavy armor that'll help me out there hey i'm screwed there's no way i could beat this ship as soon as it showed up i was finished oh no it has too much power and i didn't get any offense Oh no! Well, that run's dead. I think the yeah, only way I could have survived was doing what I thought was right and grabbing that shitty ion gun. I didn't want to do that though. Really Can't didn't want to. Cat's worth. That's worth revenge. <laughs> oh, well, this door's in front of me. Give me that hat back. I want it back. Oh, my inventory is so cluttered. Oh. I need one more Aether Current find and three more story missions here before I can fly. I think you should let me do you a favor and on your next maps let me drive you to those either currents. They suck real bad. I had to look one of them. I had to look one of them up and it ended up being a loop around the entire map to get to one of them. <laughs> and it was. It was absolutely just a 10 mile hike around the entire terrain at reduced mount speed fun. because Oh, it, it pisses me off so much. I was complaining the entire time to myself. I'm just like, why the fuck does mount speed decrease? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. It's so stupid. This makes it feel awful. I just kept saying shit like that to myself the entire time. I couldn't stand it. It was awful. Yeah, that part kind of sucks. Why in the hell do I have to have reduced mount speed ever? How about my mount just goes at its right speed all the time? How about that? Yeah. That's another thing that... Another MMO that I will stop naming 
does do right. Just making sure that their map takes forever to explore. I mean, the worst thing about it is that it's not like it's a challenge. It's just wasting my time. I got so <laughs> bored that I was on auto walk on the cliff face that I was exploring and I died. Did you fall yeah. off? Yeah, I sure did. Twice, in fact. And I had nice. to go back uh, oh, no. because oh, something be... something attacked me while I was doing it and I, I died. So I had to go back. <laughs> it was some harmless thing too, you know, something that could never have killed me ever in its yeah. dreams. I could AFK in front of it and I'd auto heal faster than that thing could kill me, but it doesn't matter. I was under I attack and I walked off cliff, so. I wish they would make their all their stuff like account wide. Their like ma making alternate characters is such a pain in the ass. They're so bad. <laughs> what do you mean? Like you don't you don't get any. There's only like certain mounts and all the different looks and all all like all the shit you can buy and unlock. You have to do it like per character is all. I it think sucks. they're adding new game plus. That's what I was saying. So yeah. that's something. So you don't have to do the dang storyline over and over. No, again. but I like different characters. I like having characters of different races without just like switching. Oh fuck! No, God! I was up on a ledge and I was like, "Oh, I'm smart being up here," and then I jumped off right as I saw there was a sheep up there that I gotta find at the very end. I gotta go all the way back. Hey, sheepy! There you are. Repair points get attacked. That's what causes them to vanish. And that's random nonsense. That's just bad luck. Whee! All the points on the last map begin to disappear. Randomly selected, they just get attacked. And they go away. There's no rhyme or reason to any of it. There's just like a 10% chance after every jump that your point in front of you will be gone. And the more you jump, the more of them are gone until they're all gone. Eventually they're all gone. God damn it. I can't believe <laughs> this freaking invader is gonna kill my drone. In a one-on-one -on -one fair fight. Oh god, you can't believe you, you missed you. You smell bad, you, you. I thought I could save his life, but here we are. With a drone that won't go away. I believe in the cat's worth two. <laughs> Is Ty drinking his drinking his burger? Did he do it? Oh no. I meant to go host him, but uh These these things are scheduled so far apart. It's kinda wild. I got another race here in a couple hours. Two hours now. I didn't know if I should go offline or not doing that. Probably should. It's good to not overdo it. I just finished the broadcast that lasted all day. Literally all day. Ugh. Well, I think I'm dead here, so... If that's the case, if it looks like Grimness, then I'm just gonna host him. Oh, no. I'm not gonna do a third run. Don't forget to get your, uh... Gold saucer winnings in uh, an hour. Oh, I'll get them. Do you have? Uh, I don't think I can give you one. You can use your squad eventually to get yeah. amplifiers to make that worth more. What? There are for XP, for gathering, for crafting, and for battle, and also for MGP. There's an amplifier you can eat the last two hours. Damn. And they can get you any of those. I didn't know that. If you level them up enough. My squad's like a level 30. <laughs> They're getting there. I mean, it's it's at 40 where you have the opportunity to train them, but it took me to level 50 before they really could do it. So you got a while to go, but you know, if you really want to yeah. speed it up, you could just go dungeon running with them. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I think I am going to stuff here anyway. I'll resume the uh, Cat's Worth Revenge. Looks like it's done okay. <laughs> See you later, everybody. Have a good one. We'll be back in two hours with our last race.